Good evening, everyone. At certain point of every one of us, uh, every one of our lives, we have a specific job or a specific activity that we feel that this is what I love to do in my life. I feel passionate about this thing. Mr. President, Mr. Toastmasters, fellow travelers, and Mr. South African guest. <laughs> Uh, evening. And I would like to take you with me to one of my favorite jobs I have had in the last 10 years as an English tour leader in Egypt from 2006 to 2010. And Jewels of Egypt used to be my favorite tour. It used to be for two weeks. <clears throat> so I wanted to take you in a virtual tour with photos of these jewels of the country that has been selected all together to, com to be combined and give us this tour. And we start from Cairo. So the first day people arrive, I meet them at the hotel, and then the next day, in the next, in the next morning, everything starts with the most famous thing that everyone knows, the pyramids and the Egyptian museum. And the Egyptian Museum has hundreds and hundreds of antiquities and other hundreds and hundreds of antiquities still in the storerooms. And luckily that we're building a new uh, grand museum to exhibit everything that in the stores and display at the moment. And the second thing is going to be the pyramids that everyone e aims to go and see. And it's still mysterious. Hundreds of theories have been given about the pyramids, and none of them is correct so far. We have no idea how those engineers, how those builders have built the pyramids, and why they make this sphinx standing there. The main thing is to guard the, uh, the pyramids. And what people around the world don't know is that we have other hundreds of pyramids still buried under the ground. Just right behind these pyramids, these three big pyramids, it's like a military area, and you need a permission from high, high military people to dig deep and show them. So that's the first day, and by the end of the day, we have to go through this big antiquity of Egypt, oh, the traffic. So we need to drive to go to the uh, the station, the train station, to take the train from Cairo to Luxor. But this is going to be the first challenge and the main challenge to reach the train station on time, to take the right train <laughs> to take you to Luxor, the eight, the ten hours drive, the ten hours trip down south Egypt to Luxor, the most city in the whole world that has, it has the third antiquities of the whole world in Luxor itself. So when we arrive to Luxor, we will have a few things. So this is the train station, the train station, this is the sleeper train that we use overnight. So we're going to have dinner and breakfast on board and sleep overnight on the train, beds. And then when we arrive to Luxor in the morning, we take the horse carriages to the biggest temple in Egypt. Not this one. This one is called Luxor Temple. But we take the horse carriages to this temple, the Karnak Temple, which has been built by nine king pharaohs. And each one has his own signature in the, in the building. And the most fantastic thing about this building is going to be this hall of pillars which has 134 pillars standing in one hall, about 100 meters high. Also a magnificent thing. You should see, if you go with the real colors of the pillars of the, of the Karnak Temple, you'll see how beautiful they have been decorated and have been colored. And after the Karnak Temple, this is going to be our home for the week, for the next week. So we're going to be accommodated on the melody, the boat, the cruise boat, to cross the line for one week. 
going down from Luxor to Aswan, and from Aswan we come back to Luxor on the boat, seeing the beautiful River Nile, uh, the uh, fishes, the local fishes around the, uh, the, uh, the banks of the Nile, the <coughs> palm trees, farmers, mountains, desert, and when we arrived, before we, when we arrived to Luxor, we were still there, this is the Luxor temple, it's in the city center, and it's another beautiful temple, and it has some Roman design, and after that, in the next morning, this is our fantastic, exciting trip to the Valley of the Kings and the Valley of the Queens and the Valley of the Workers. What people don't know that the Valley of the Workers is located right next to the Valley of the Kings and the Queens. So those workers who built all the tombs of the kings and the queens in, in, in the whole of Egypt, what we go on donkeys for about 45 minutes on the backs of these little lovely donkeys. And we had the chance to see this carved uh, temple in the mountain, the Hatshepsut temple, the only queen, the pharaoh, the only pharaoh queen, and it's all in the mountain. And when we went back to the cruise boat, we start going to Itfu, the Itfu temple, the Ahmus, and the, everyone knows about Osiris, uh, Isis and Osiris story and the killing and you will read the whole story on the, on the pillars and the walls of the, and this is another uh, the Colombo temple the Colombo temple is another Roman temple on the way from Luxor to Aswan that we're going to stop by and this is Aswan Aswan is one of the most beautiful cities in Egypt the southeast in the southern uh, part of Egypt you will have Aswan, it has beautiful one. And this is the base that from where we're going to go to. Uh, this is the, the, actually the old cataract hotel where Agatha Christie wrote her novel, Death on the Nile. So that was actually there. And this is the Philae Temple. The Philae Temple is actually dismantled from its original place to be built on this higher island in Aswan as well. And afterwards, we're going to go to Abu Simbel Temple that has taken seven years to be dismantled from under the water to be brought back again on an, uh, an higher island. Uh, that's not the end of the tour. When we come back to Luxor, we drive from Luxor to Hurghada, from Hurghada to Sharm Sheikh in Sinai, and from Sharm Sheikh in Sinai, we take the bus to St. Catherine's to climb the 2,500 meters Mount Sinai. And then we, on the way, we stop in Dahab. And Dahab has one of the most fantastic spots for uh, diving and snorkeling, the Blue Hole. And it's about 100 and 150 meters deep. So people go there from all over the world. And this is the monastery of St. Catherine's and the mountain in St. Catherine's. And after the mountain of St. Catherine's, and we come back to Cairo, the last leg from Cairo is going to be Alexandria. And Alexandria has been built by the Alexander the Great, and who gave it its name. So, two weeks in Egypt is not enough. Some of these jewels has been put into this trip. And still a lot of other places that people would love to see and I'd love to take you to there, of course. And after that, we come back to Cairo, where we have to drive back through these traffic. And actually, cars, you need to drive the car and the bus with the people, not the people with the, with the cars. So you don't know what's happening in the, in, on, on the road, but everyone is aware about what's happening. The bus drivers are aware of people crossing the street, and people are aware of the buses and cars and everything. And by this moment, the trip is over. And thank you for coming to eat. <laughs> wow, very, very happy name. Wow. 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 I've never seen it like that. Fantastic. <coughs> Time keeper, could we have one minute?